mentioned that there are a lot of people who are experienced professionals as well who join our courses and i believe that gives a lot of edge to us because those students who are in the college can actually get a lot of learning from those people who are working because i cannot answer everybody on the discord but a lot of people actually share their knowledge and a lot of people actually share their opinion learning any simple programming language or learning any particular type of a tech starting to make a project out of it might not make sense yeah like if you want like you can make maybe a tic tac toe but tic tac toe in itself is a club of like usage of arrays loops conditionals basic variables all the basic stuff you need once you learn the basics of any programming fundamental for any language then you can make something like tic tac toe it will like help you revise everything and like make something like a console based app so this is going to be a different video uh, i am not sure if you can see all of this so this is a document that my team has created and it has all of the feedbacks or i would say some randomly picked feedbacks from the courses that i have recently taken all together so in this video i am going to answer react or whatever you want to consider all of these feedbacks one by one uh, i thought why not just extract some content out of the feedback form that we generally circulate and get the feedback all together so let's make a video out of it and if you want to see all of the feedbacks this is not something that i have made up so most of the videos that i generally put on the channel i link these feedbacks i will also link the feedback in this particular video so you can check out and like make your opinion all together so without any further delay let's just start because we have uh, quite a lot of them here so before moving forward i would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at algo camp so if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development then this is going to be something interesting for you so if you're somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and what not this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and what not this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video so let's start so the first one that we have is course is going great and there is a lot of learning happening by this course sanket is really a great teacher and he explains the complex topics in easier manner i guess that's a plus one that's a positive one so thanks whoever it is it's all anonymous so i don't know who has made this feedback all together but yeah we generally make sure that there is something new to learn for everybody because nowadays everybody knows something about most of the things like if you even if you start a javascript cohort there will be people who already know about javascript so we try to make sure that there is something new to learn for every single one who is joining the course so thanks for that Now let's move on to the next one. Honestly, I have joined two, three top level boot camp from India before this, and I paid the full amount, but never got what I was looking for, and always left behind. But in your boot camp, trust me, I haven't seen anyone explaining so much in depth, and I think even experienced people lack that. What which I have learned from you, and though I have working schedule, but I haven't missed your single recorded like class. 
I think if you know a little bit of JS and want to actually understand how, how the JS works, I will 100% bet you no one can teach you like this, da 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 da, da and so on. So yes, thanks for the honest feedback. Again, as I mentioned that there are a lot of people who are experienced professionals as well who join our courses. And I believe that gives a lot of edge to us because those students who are in the college can actually get a lot of learning from those people who are working. Because I cannot answer everybody on the Discord, but a lot of people actually share their knowledge and a lot of people actually share their opinion. If the senior engineers or I would say working professional like your course, I believe you are going in a good direction. So th thanks for that. The speed of the live class is a bit slow. If sir could switch from normal to 1.25x speed in terms of explaining the topic, then it would be good. I'm not talking about the course completion. I'm talking about the pace with which the sir was speaking. Okay, so this might be true at some places see like sometimes it happens with me that if it's a complex topic i try to make sure that i make it understandable for every single one so it can feel a bit slow that's why i generally recommend that just attend the live class and after the live class switch the video recording to 2x and then like watch it because see like some people have higher grasping power but yeah feedback taken i should try to speak a little bit faster i believe the end of discussion, not having some time bounded discussion and completing an important topic at a stretch, especially promises and also the pace of the teaching is absolutely perfect, helps in retention of topics and also in revision. So this, this guy is liking the pace overall. So I guess it's, it's dependent, like some people like the pace, some people don't. So I might have to find a middle ground altogether. Let's move to the next one. I already knew basics about JS and also did sorting visualizer. Oh, it's a famous project, I guess. Still, it surprised me how much in-depth this course went about each topic, most of which I wasn't aware of previously. I was seeing some JS interviews on YouTube and Google and, find, and found myself answering almost all the questions correctly. Also liked the fact that there one was an extra DOM class for front-end too. So I guess this feedback is coming from our back-end course. In the back-end course, we generally do not have front-end classes, but sometimes we keep some extra add-on classes so that people can build some basic front-end. But yeah, I believe if, even if you know some things, there is al always a scope to learn more. Even I feel that there is always a scope to learn more. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for the nice feedback. Okay, next one. While reading and explaining others doubt, kindly explain in English. I'm feeling missing something when you explain in Hindi. Apart from this, everything was absolutely fine. Thanks so much. So I guess this is a problem. Sometimes we just flow around in Hindi. Thoda sa aise Hindi nikal jati hai, bhai. Hum log nahi rok pate hai. Because sometimes people actually ask the question in Hindi. So I feel like, okay, I'm just talking to them in Hindi. Some people might uh, feel off. So this was one of the reasons why we launched a couple of English kind of cohorts so that uh, there we can just speak Hindi whenever we want, wherever we want. And there are some dedicated ones where we just try to speak English. So this is a problem and this has been a constant feedback with me that sometimes I just start in Hindi and like just don't stop. So yeah, I should work on that. Let's move to the next one. The way you explain concept theoretically as well as practically, also you shared your interview experience and off topic, that also helps. So this is also something that we recently added that if we are like explaining a topic and if we have some interview story related to that, we try to generally tell that to people because these experiences are something that you do not get in let's say a 12 minute or a 20 minute YouTube video because somebody is just explaining you the topic. But if you can just tell about some real life experiences, some interview experiences, then it helps because eventually what do you want? You want to crack an interview and like get some nice job with nice base pay and stocks, right? So generally we do that. So thanks for the right, nice feedback again. Let's move to the next one. Like you said, we should start thinking about projects that we would like to build after learning from this course. It would be great if you would keep recommending us for a bit of idea what we can make with the topic covered up till now. For example, day 10 we are done with array functions. Now what we could build using the knowledge we have till now. Especially the project that would really be good to put on your resume. Of course, this would be at very later stages of the course. So I, I believe uh, I'm not a very big fan of like making projects with every single topic. Like you learn strings now, don't start just making project with strings. There are two things that I like generally keep in mind. Learning any simple programming language or learning any particular type of a tech stack or a framework already is a very long process. You see a programming language, like basics of programming language already takes a lot of time. If you start making a single project for every small concept that you learn, then your overall learning time period can increase and this can make you lethargic and maybe you can drop off in between. The biggest problem nowadays with learning programming with most of the people is that they start with a very high enthusiasm and then they 
technically drop off that is something that i do not want and i make sure that okay there is one serious project or a couple of serious projects but we also like complete the journey right you yourself probably know that if you have joined a course then probably you don't even are able to complete 10% 15% right but we want to make sure that a good majority of the people are able to at least complete more than 80% that's why for every single small topic we generally do not try to add a project but yeah there are some really complex topics for which we can add some interview problems that you can solve let's say for promises we can try to design a particular type of a promise class of ourselves or let, let's say xyz this is something that we try to do it's a conflicting thought for me that uh, we should try to have project for every single small topic like i believe array is a very small topic altogether and uh, like starting to make a project out of it might not make sense yeah like if you want like you can make maybe a tic tac toe but tic tac toe in itself is a club of like usage of arrays loops conditionals basic variables all the basic stuff you need once you learn the basics of any programming fundamental for any language then you can make something like tic tac toe it will like help you revise everything and like make something like a console based app so this is something that we can probably have so that was kind of like a quick video there were some like 10 odd random feedbacks that the team picked up if you want to see all of the feedbacks with a couple of ratings and here and there you can check that in the description section we have kept it open for most of the people so just go forward and check it out and if you are looking for learning around things around system design back end development full stack development you can definitely check out algocamp.io and uh, this was just another video where i am not talking about something very serious generally i have been recently talking about something more constructive and more uh, i would say productive for you guys but this was just a simple fun video that i just wanted to make from the excel sheet that is being generated with the, those forms being filled so extracting some content out of it if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button if you, if you have any thoughts any comments or if you are an ex student of my previous cohorts do drop your thoughts in the comment section below i would be really happy uh, to look at the comments and if there has been something that i can improve because of course there is always a scope of improvement i would love to do that as well that being said let's wrap this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care bye bye i'm sanket singh signing off